Thy kingdom come, Lord, teach us how to pray for all to know your joy, your peace and love and know your friends. Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotion on the third day of the Thy Kingdom Come series. My name is Sergeant Kieran Quinn. I'm currently serving with Yankee Company 4-5 Commando Royal Marines. Today I'm representing the Catholic Military Association. In a moment we'll have a Bible reading and then hear some words of reflection from His Eminence Cardinal Vincent Nichols. But first I ask you to join with me in some prayer. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So today's reflection is taken from day three of the Thy Kingdom Come prayer journal, and it takes the theme of God Speaks. It was written by His Eminence Karen Vincent Nichols, and we'll begin with a Bible reading from Hebrews 1, verses 1 and 2. At many moments in the past, and by many means, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our time, the final days, he has spoken to us in the person of his son. So the following are some words of reflection on that passage from Cardinal Nichols. The opening words of the letter to the Hebrews are so clear. Yes, God speaks to us constantly, but God's definite word to us is Christ Jesus. Our constant calling then is to set ourselves close to him, to enshrine him in our hearts. Our relation to him, the relationship to him, is the foundation of our lives and the source of our strength and hope. Without proximity to him, our life of faith loses heart. During this, the Thy Kingdom Come season, let's renew this best relationship of all and our sense of mission. Here is one aspect of our mission, that in every circumstance, whether at home or school, at work or leisure, we strive to be a bond of connection between persons, in the lovely phrase of St. John Henry Newman. Building for others a sense of being accepted is a first genuine expression of the life that Jesus brings. We put faith into practice when we recognise and respect the image of God in every person we meet and strive. However simple, to reach out to them. Can our actions echo the truth of Jesus' words? Come to me, all you who are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Building community, breaking down hostilities. This is the work of our blessed Lord, so much needed in our troubled world. Our mission is to be builders day by day of this acceptance and unity. So let us take a few moments to pray for five people that we would like to see come to a saving faith in Jesus Christ. Let us also pray that as God speaks to us, we may have an open ear to hear his voice and strive to act in the example of his son, Christ Jesus. Let us pray for the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Richie Sunak MP and the members of His Majesty's Government, that they may continue to build our community and break down the hostilities that separate us. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters 
in the Living Grace Ministry, that the Lord will bless them with the finance and support to build their place of worship. Let us pray for Christian unity in the armed forces, that in an ever increasingly secular world, we may draw strength from the faith of one another and from the power of the Holy Spirit. I now invite you to join in the Lord's Prayer with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So continuing with our theme of praying and living the kingdom, I'm now going to read the next installment of the Trussell Trust. Three years after setting up the Trussell Trust to help homeless children in Bulgaria, Paddy and Caroline Henderson received a call from a mother near their home in Salisbury who was struggling to feed her family. Paddy researched the data on poverty and deprivation in the UK and found that a significant number of people faced going hungry as a result of the pandemic. So if anything perhaps moves you in that sort of extract, there's a link to the trust just giving page in the description below. We'll also catch up with the rest of what the Hendersons did in tomorrow's daily devotion. So thank you very much for joining us today and we look forward to praying with you again tomorrow. Thank you and God bless. Thy kingdom come, Lord teach us how to pray for all to know your joy, your peace and